most wonderfully impressive building in the heart of the city has been a guild hall for over a thousand years. The Saxon tradesmen and merchants were the first people to organize themselves into guilds, and they built their guild hall here on the foundations of the largest amphitheater in Roman Britain. In the 13th century, King John allowed Londoners to elect a mayor, and this building has been the mayoral seat ever since. The building we see today was built in 1411 in the reign of Henry V, and although it was partially gutted by the Great Fire of London and the Second World War, it is pretty much unchanged. The current facade, added in 1788, is in the style of the Hindustani Gothic, and the timber roof that is more in line with the medieval original was renovated in 1866 and again after the Second World War. In the main hall, there are stunning statues of figures of British history, such as Pitt the Younger and Elder, the Duke of Wellington, Admiral Nelson, and Winston Churchill. The two modern statues of Gog and Magog have a surprising history in the Guildhall. Gog and Magog were the giants that lived in Britain before the arrival of Troy. Their statues are paraded with the mayor around the city on the day of his inauguration, a ceremony that hasn't changed since medieval times. The original wooden statues were destroyed by fire during the war, but now these fabulous, garish new creatures stare down at the Great Hall. Not to be missed is the silence and tranquility of the crypt beneath, a cool and peaceful alternative to the city that surrounds it.